Commander, something you need? How's the Normandy performing? Is she everything they said she'd be? She's the best ship in the fleet. If you've got a pilot who knows how to handle her. Balance isn't what you'd expect. Takes a while to get used to that oversized drive core we got stuffed in the back, and her power can sneak up on you if you're not careful. The Normandy's probably too much ship for your average Alliance pilot, Commander. Lucky for you, I'm anything but average. I like to know my crew. Mind if I ask you a few questions? <laughs> I can see where this is going. You did a background check on me, didn't you? Well, I'll tell you the same thing I told the captain. You want me as your pilot. I'm not good. I'm not even great. I am the best damn helmsman in the Alliance fleet. Top of my class in flight school, I earned that. All those commendations in my file, I earned every single one. Those weren't given to me as charity for my disease. I can't have you on this ship if you're going to infect my crew. <laughs> infect the crew? Oh man, you have no idea what I'm talking about, do you? Okay, I've got Vrolic Syndrome, brittle bone disease. The bones in my legs never develop properly, they're basically hollow, too much force and they'll shatter. Even with crutches and my leg braces, it's hard to get around. One wrong step and crack! It's very dramatic, but I've learned to manage my condition, Commander. Put the Normandy in my hands and I'll make her dance for you. Just don't ask me to get up and dance unless, you know, you like the sound of snapping shin bones. Why does everyone call you Joker? It's a lot shorter than saying Alliance Flight Lieutenant Jeff Moreau. Plus, I love to make little children laugh. I was just thinking how much you remind me of Santa Claus. Look, I didn't pick the name. One of the instructors in flight school used to bug me about never smiling. She started calling me Joker, and it stuck. Why didn't you ever smile? Hey, I worked my ass off in flight school, Commander. The world's not gonna hand you anything if you go around grinning like an idiot. By the end of the year, I was the best pilot in the academy. Even better than the instructors, and everybody knew it. They'd all got their asses kicked by the sickly kid with the creaky little legs. One guess who was smiling at graduation. I need to know more about this Rolex Syndrome if I'm putting my ship in your hands. Yeah, of course you do. It's an extremely rare condition. Nobody knows exactly what causes it. Genetic, maybe. It's treatable, but there's no cure. I classify my case as moderate to severe. I was born with over a dozen fractures. Hip, thighs, ankles, my bones were already breaking in the womb. A hundred years ago, I wouldn't have survived past my first year. Lucky for me, modern medical science has turned me into a productive member of society. You're not gonna break a bone trying to fly the ship, are you? Uh, I don't fly with my feet, Commander. So I'm fine as long as I'm in this chair. I gotta be real careful when I get up to take a piss, though. I can do my job as well as anyone on the ship. Better, actually. So don't worry about it. I'm not trying to make you uncomfortable. Let's talk about something else. Whatever you want, Commander. How'd you end up joining the Alliance? Look, if you're looking for an inspirational tale of the crippled kid overcoming impossible odds, you're gonna be disappointed. My mother was a civilian contractor working for the Alliance. I basically grew up on the Arcturus station back when they were building up the fleets. Spend all that time around Alliance ships, there's a good chance you'll end up going to the Academy. I have to go. Alright, see ya. If anyone has to take over for Captain Anderson, I'm glad it's you. I'm not sure about having non-humans on our ship, though. I'm in charge here, Presley. I decide if we have non-humans on this vessel. Yes, ma'am. Understood, ma'am. Speak freely, Presley. I want to know if you have a problem with non-humans. It's not that, Commander. Humanity has always handled its own problems. Saren attacked one of our colonies. We should be the ones to stop him. We don't need their help. Some people think asking for help is a sign of weakness. That's just being stupid and stubborn. No matter how strong you are, allies can make you stronger. I guess so. Maybe I'm just stuck in the old ways of thinking. But don't worry, Commander. This won't be a problem. How did you end up assigned to the Normandy? I signed up with the Alliance as a navigator right out of school. Following in my grandfather's footsteps, I guess. My first posting was on the Agincourt. We were at Elysium during the Skillian Blitz. A massive fleet of alien raiders hit the colony, trying to wipe it out. 
They had the numbers, but their ships were no match for an Alliance frigate. It was a slaughter. We couldn't even keep track of how many ships they lost. How'd you end up on the Normandy? I got my officer's commission after Elysium. Must have made an impression on the right people. Captain asked for me when he was picking his crew. Carry on, Presley. Yes, ma'am. Hey, Commander. Looking for some extra supplies before you head out? What have you got? Whatever you want. Armor, weapons, mods. It's not standard Alliance issue, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Well, as long as you don't mind paying for it. Why should I pay you for my weapons and armor? My stuff doesn't come from the Alliance. I have to purchase it myself, and it's not cheap. Hell, the licenses alone have set me back more than I'd like. But no licenses, no goods. Without the goods, I'm out of a job. What are licenses? Why do you need them? Manufacturers sell licenses. Each license allows me to buy and sell a certain brand of products. I already have several basic ones, but you'll need to buy more if you want me to bring in different brands. Many of the best licenses are hard to get, but they're well worth the cost if you can find them. What do the different manufacturers offer? There are too many for me to keep track of, but each license will explain what it's good for. How often will you get new items? Well, that depends on how many licenses you've purchased. But I'll rotate items on a regular basis regardless. And any time we land someplace with a big enough port, I'll buy, sell, and trade whatever I can. Check back often. I need to move items quickly, so only the most basic items will be stocked consistently. Let's see what you've got. You bet. Thanks for bringing me on board, Commander. I knew working with the Spectre would be better than life at CSEC. Have you worked with the Spectre before? Well, no, but I know what they're like. Spectres make their own rules. You're free to handle things your way. At CSEC, you're buried by rules. The damn bureaucrats are always on your back. Being a Spectre does have its advantages. Exactly my point. If I'm trying to take down a suspect, it shouldn't matter how I do it, as long as I do it. But CSEC wants it done their way. Protocol and procedure come first. That's why I left. So you just quit because you didn't like the way they do things? There's more to it than that. It didn't start out bad, but as I rose in ranks, I got saddled with more and more red tape. CSEC's handling of Saren was typical. I just couldn't take it anymore. I hate leaving. I hope you made the right choice. I'd hate for you to regret it later. Well, that's sort of why I teamed up with you. It's a chance for me to get off the Citadel, see how things are done outside CSEC. Either way, I plan to make the most of this. And without CSEC headquarters looking over my shoulder, well, maybe I can get the job done my way for a change. As long as you do your job well, you're free to go about your business as you see fit. Thank you, Commander. Commander? What's your opinion of the last mission? Kinda wish you'd got there sooner, Commander. No offense, I appreciate the rescue. I just wish... You wish we'd been able to save the rest of your unit. Yes, ma'am. If I had been more alert, we wouldn't have been cut down by an ambush. The answer seems plain enough to me. Be more alert. Aye, aye, Commander. I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. Do you have a few minutes to talk? One on one? I'm sorry, Commander. I need to get my duty squared away. I wouldn't mind talking more later, though. Dismissed, Chief. Ma'am. Nice ship you got, Shepard. What can I do for you? What's your story, Rex? There's no story. Go ask the Quarian if you want stories.
You Krogans live for centuries. Don't tell me you haven't had a few interesting adventures. Well, there was this one time the Turians almost wiped out our entire race. That was fun. I heard about that. You know, they almost did the same to us. It's not the same. It seems pretty much the same to me. So your people were infected with a genetic mutation? An infection that makes only a few in a thousand children survive birth? And I suppose it's destroying your entire species? I suppose it isn't all the same. I don't expect you to understand, but don't compare humanity's fate with the Krogan. Sorry, Rex. I wasn't trying to get you upset. Your ignorance doesn't upset me, Shepard. As for the Krogan, I gave up on them long ago. The genophage infected us, but it's not what's killing us. Are your people really dying? We're sure not getting any stronger. We're too spread out. None of us are interested in staying in our own system. Lots of species have left their homes and prospered. But they go to colonize new worlds. We're not settlers. We're warriors. We want to fight. So we leave. Hire ourselves out. And most of us never go back. What can you tell me about the Genophage? Ask the Salarians if you want details. They made it. All I know, it makes breeding nearly impossible. Thousands die in stillbirth, and most never get that far. Every Krogan is infected, every one. And no one's rushing to find a cure. Why don't the Krogan try to find a cure? When was the last time you saw a Krogan scientist? You ask a Krogan, would he rather find a cure for the genophage or fight for credits? He'll choose fighting every time. It's just who we are, Shepard. I can't change that. Nobody can. So long, Rex. Shepard. Tally, she's been spending all her time down here asking me about our engines. I'll tell her to leave you alone. What? No, she's amazing. I wish my guys were half as smart as she is. Give her a month on board and she'll know more about our engines than I do. She's got a real knack for technology, that one. I can see why you wanted her to come along. I figured she'd be a real asset to the team. You've got an eye for Tally, Commander. But I'm guessing that's not why you came down here. Fill me in on the IES stealth system. How does it work exactly? You can't hide a ship out in space. They emit too much heat and radiation. Too easy for sensors to pick them up. Unless you find a way to capture those emissions. So our stealth systems trap the energy we give off in storage sinks built into the ship itself. No emissions to give away our location. Eventually the sinks have to be vented. More than a few hours silent running and they overheat. Cook us inside our own hull. There's no way for anyone to detect us? A visual scan can still pick us up. Anyone looking out a window can see us plain as day. But you have to be pretty close to get an actual visual out in space. Most vessels rely on scanners. As long as the stealth systems are engaged, they can't see us. Not unless we accelerate to FTL speeds. Why doesn't it work with faster than light travel? Cranking up the FTL, blue shifts our emissions, pushes them into frequencies too high to capture in the sinks. As soon as we make the jump, it's like setting off a flare. Sensors can pick up our location whenever we enter or exit FTL flight, but for short-range missions, our stealth systems are amazing, and we've got the only one. I 
want to know more about the Normandy. She's the best ship I've ever served on. Probably the fastest vessel ever designed. And she's the only one using the new Tantalus drive core. What's so special about the Tantalus drive core? Proportionally, it's about twice the size of any other vessel. Not only are we faster, we can run at FTL speeds longer before we have to discharge the core. Where else have you served, Adams? If you name a class of Alliance ship, I've probably served on it. Everything from dreadnoughts and carriers right down to frigates like the Normandy. My last assignment was on the Tokyo. Only a cruiser, but she was a good ship. Couldn't hold a candle to the Normandy, though. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, Commander.